What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Scrap Mechanics Survival and today I went ahead and kind of redid the Glowworm project a little bit and built it into a proper boat. So I figured out some of the issues we were having last time when we played around with the Glowworm boat and I actually came across a relatively decent design which is this design here and it's pretty simple. We've got three Glowworms in the chamber. If we press one, it'll lower our sail but also bring that single piece of cardboard down you can see on the piston and that single piece of cardboard brings it within sight line of the glowworms and once they push into that wall we'll start moving forward with three glowworm power now of course we've got a suspension glitch to turn and when we turn it actually turns the sail just for a little bit of a visual but doesn't do much and this design actually seems to work pretty well to not kill the glowworms i noticed one of the reasons we were killing them before was they were just too crammed together so like a three by three cube is big enough for them but if the glowworms jam into a wall in the wrong direction like the wall hits them in the back or something then they actually just die for some reason same sense if we turn too quickly here they'll also die and in fact if we add another glowworm into that little chamber there and we put four of them in there they'll push the boat but one of them will always die so it's just sort of a weird thing with the amount of space they require and we have to make sure when we're turning we don't turn too fast because you can see they're kind of sliding over to the right there and eventually they'll straighten out again but if they get too close to one side, one of them will die. And then, of course, to actually stop us from moving, there were a ton of great suggestions from the comments. But I went with one which is pretty self-explanatory, and that was turn off by pulling the cardboard up. And you can see we're still moving because they're still jammed into the wall. But now if we press 2, it'll push a piston, which moves the wall out. And now we come to a complete stop, no problem. And the three glowworms just sit here in the middle of the chamber. So this works really well, and I really love this design. Now, it's not the fastest boat, obviously. We'll do a little bit of a speed test to show you. It kind of goes a little bit slower than swimming speed, but the advantage, of course, is we can actually store stuff on this boat. We've got a bed right here, so we can respawn no problem, and we don't use any stamina to move. So we'll grab a fourth glowworm if we can find one underwater here. I've pretty much killed all of them in this bay. We might have to go to a different bay to find one. Well, I couldn't actually find a glowworm around us. We are still relatively close to the base, so let's actually just head out. I want to check out this island here, and then I want to keep going. There's the island with that structure on it that's way up the coast a little bit and I want to go check that out and of course any other islands that we see and just see what's up and what's happening here um why is buddy you gotta you gotta go around your two friends there okay sometimes they get jammed oh no there he goes he's going perfect so yeah let's head over to this island you can see it's actually really slow with two um and we've got one that's one that's just being a little special. There we go. There you go. Join your friends. The speed does seem to be almost exponential. Like, you can see two. We weren't going very fast. We added a third, and we've over doubled our speed, even though, you know, that's only adding one extra glowworm. So I have no idea how this actually works to calculate physics, but it's a pretty decent boat, and we can actually get out here, and I'll show you guys. So if I swim, I'm just a little bit slower than the boat. Um, but if I swim in a straight line, I'm faster. So if I can sprint swim, I'm faster. And if I just do the regular swimming, I'm slower. I'd like to try and expand this boat design out, make it a little bit wider, and add a fourth glowworm to the chamber at some point in time. But let's just check out this island here. So it seems like it's got a burnt forest on it. I haven't actually been here before. I have no idea what to expect, but it's got a burnt forest. But we'll just sail around the outside, and, uh, let's actually look for another glowworm below the surface here while we're doing that it's a beautiful boat and i really would like to try and make one that's maybe four or five glowworm powered with this same idea as you can see we haven't killed one yet which is awesome like it's such a good design now and uh, as long as you're slow and casual on the steering and you don't hold the suspension glitch steering it doesn't seem to kill them at all which is fantastic but it is a very slow form of travel so that's kind of the only unfortunate thing so i feel like a four or five glowworm powered boat we could really get things moving and, uh, of course, the more weight we add to the boat with the bigger size, that does make a difference. But I really, really like the look of this boat. I think it looks great as a little sailboat. And, of course, we've got that little sail on the front, even though we're not actually, you know, using it for anything. It just kind of, it just looks really cool. You know, I thought it looked a little bit more like an actual reasonable explanation for why we're moving for no reason. Um, still don't see any glowworms here. It's very difficult to scan below the surface. Alright, well this is definitely, this island is just a charred forest zone, right? Is there anything else around this island? Oh man, there's another island set way out there to the right too. I can't even tell what those are. Can we, can we scope that a little bit? 
Oh, it just looks like rocks. Okay, they're not islands. That's just like rocks in the middle of the ocean. Maybe we'll check those out at some point in time. But for now, I want to head over to the island that I know has a compound. And that's down the shore a little bit. I've driven next to it, but I've never actually gone and visited it with a boat. So I'd really like to check out what that compound is. And it's actually the structure from the trailers. So I'm not sure if it's something special or if it's just, you know, another structure on an island. But I'd really like to find out. I still don't even see a single glowworm. You know what? Let's just stop here for a second. And let's see if there's a glowworm down here we can add. Oh, no, I forgot. I forgot to press the button. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, we'll get it. There we go. That's the nice thing about this being slower than walking. All right, press two. There we go. Push you guys back. Excellent. Okay. All right, another glowworm. He's probably going to be the one that dies. Maybe one of these guys will. But just to show you, this space isn't big enough. So we can fit him there, no problem. But watch what happens when we turn this on. All four of them will move forward, and we'll probably go relatively quick for a little bit, but eventually one of them will probably get stuck. Um, so you can see right away, we're already faster than we were, which is fantastic. And this is actually working pretty well, but as soon as we turn, one of them's going to get jammed up against the wall. So there's the island I'm talking about straight ahead with that structure on it. So let's just head straight, and actually we'll have four glowworm power for a while. But you can see, it kind of feels a little faster than 3. I'm not 100% sure, but it seems like it's faster anyway. This is actually the longest I've had 4 survive, to be honest. It seems like it's just when I turn, one of them will jam into the wall. But 3 never seems to die with this particular design. So, I want to definitely expand it out. Maybe I could even do 2 chambers of this size with 3 in each. You know, one in front of the other and make the boat a little longer and have that much more power. But maybe there actually is a limit to speed. I'm not sure. It seems like there's another island there. We can just, I love this too. You can just get out and look at the sailboat. Okay, so that looks like more rocks. Just like those rocks and those rocks. That doesn't seem like anything. We might, you know what, let's go check those out after too. Maybe there's something below the water by those rocks. I'm not exactly sure. We got tons of food, tons of spuds, and of course we've got a respawn point, so that's fantastic. And look at this, we can just eat while that goes. And it sails so smoothly. I love it. I mean, there's no audio from these glowworms, but they work so well. I, I really just want to make more boats with glowworms just because of how smooth they feel. And, you know, once you have this kind of design where you can just push them back, it, it just works so beautifully. Let's just park here. I can't believe these four are still alive. That's crazy. I've literally never had four last that long. Normally one of them dies, but seems like this is just a structure. You're dead. Yeah, I don't think there's anything unique about this structure. I mean, it would be cool if it was like a gold chest spawn location because it is on an island, but it honestly seems just like every other structure we've been to. Um, either way, you're dead. Kill everybody inside. Perfect. Then, of course, we're going to check these hay piles. Another chest. Perfect. Perfect gasoline batteries those are always good things it seems like we haven't got any of the basic stuff like i no soil and seeds that might just be completely random but normally when you loot these you get seeds and soil although i have noticed that the amount of loot you get seems to change based on the zone like in the starting area where the starter ship is you seem to get a lot of food products whereas when you go out from there you get more seed products and more advanced stuff so I'm not sure maybe this is only component kits and fuel. That would be great if that's all this was. I'd still love to see a gold chest here because, you know, those are always useful. But, I mean, either way, we're getting some good stuff. Not too many crates, though, to be perfectly honest. All right, come on. Gold chests on the roof. Let's see it. Let's see a gold... There's nothing on the roof. Really? Actually... Oh, there's a single green chest with a battery. Okay, is that... That's it? You know, this does not seem worth it. If you have a boat to come all the way out here, you wouldn't even get your money back in fuel from just coming out here if you were using a thruster all the way from our base. But uh, let's go check out those rocks over there. And then I think we're going to head around the island a little bit more in that direction. The warehouse is out that way, and I feel like we can just keep boating around and see what's up. So let's just head on down and check out that stuff. Maybe at some point in time, we'll go and just sail straight in a direction and find the limit of the map. But for now, I just wanted to really explore the islands today and check them out. I've never actually had a boat that I've been able to use, so I would really just wanted to see what these islands were, because I could always see them from my base. It's actually really cool that we've got a charred zone right there across from the base, because I'm probably low on charcoal. I imagine I need to build some more metal three, and I'm going to just mine that charred zone next, because that'll be the easiest thing just to boat over, get a ton of charred stuff, and then come back. But uh, there's a rock here, so let's just check this out, push those guys back. Perfect. 
still all four of them. I can't believe it, but... Alright, what's up here? Anything? This looks just like just a big pile of nothing. Yeah, nothing up here. Anything below the water that's interesting? There's a glow bug. Two glow bugs. Honestly, this just looks like a bunch of rocks. A really cool tile, but there's nothing... Nothing here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, no, see the fourth got jammed too close to the wall and he died. See, three works no problem. Four seems to jam to the wall. I'll definitely play around with these kinds of designs in the future. I might just extend this rowboat out, make two chambers, one in front of the other, and do three in each for a total of six and see how much of a difference that makes compared to what we're doing. Let's grab a fourth right here. We can see him. We'll throw him back in and see if that guy can survive again. But I've never really had good success with four. Well, we're just going to keep sailing straight throughout the night around the main map and uh, let's see what comes in the morning, but it's pretty much empty out here. There's some rocks like way out there, but yeah, I think it's just the same as the rocks here. There's nothing really of interest, so we'll wait until morning and then we'll see where we're at. All right, the sun's finally coming back up and we're just getting to the warehouse that we raided. So that's the first warehouse and only warehouse we've been in so far. And we're still following the shoreline. There's really nothing out in the ocean. I feel like if we keep going out that way, we're going to get to the edge of the map. Seems like we're coming up to more rocks here, which still isn't very exciting. I'm, I'm kind of looking for stuff that's not just rocks. Maybe there's only the one island, like, and then just these rock formations. But I don't understand the point of all these rock formations if there's nothing really to them. Hopefully, we'll find more islands. I, I really wonder if that's the only island the devs put in the game. If it is, I'll be kind of disappointed. But I mean, I'm not going to say for sure until we've actually gone around the entire map and explored absolutely everything. I wonder if that tree actually is on land. Maybe the land wraps back around? I'm, I have no idea. Oh yeah, the land. Okay, the land wraps back around. So that tree's definitely on land. So let's check out these. I think this is the same as before. There was a tree on the other one for sure. And honestly, we do. Yeah, maybe we do feel a little bit slower. It was a little bit faster with four. We'll have to make a boat that has like six again. That was six was an awesome number. And unfortunately, this is just the same. There's no loot. There's just a tree. It's the same rock formation. There seems to be another rock formation on the left. Honestly, it seems like there's these rock formations. And then there's these islands like the one in front of us with the structure on it. I'm not seeing any other island types. It's just like out there even. I'm pretty sure that's just another one of these rock formation islands, which it is. And then there's this structure island. So I don't know what the deal is with that. And of course, mainland is behind us. We better not lose sight of shore because then we're really screwed getting lost out at sea. I feel like we could just move away from the sun though. The sun's there and if we just move away from it, we'll get back towards land. So that's not really the end of the world. It'd be cool if this game had a compass though, but... All right, we're going to go here, loot this one anyway because we're already out here. Might as well loot that structure as well. Hopefully get some more good stuff. And then we're just going to keep sailing around the map. I mean, we got a fair amount of distance to go. It's going to take us a while to get back to base, but... Worst case scenario, we sail around the entire map and only find these two islands. All right, let's uh, go check this out. There's probably going to be more farm bots again. Here we go. You're dead. Thank you. Hey, farm bot. He was just looking at the view, but unfortunately, I can't let him do that. Well, this one seems to have a few more chests than the last one. It's got, you know, some glass and chemicals, so that's all right. I mean, glass is always good to have. Chemicals, they're always good too, so we don't have to actually collect it with buckets. Nothing really else. I'm really hoping there's a golden chest up top, but the last one didn't have one, so I feel like these are just regular structures just in the middle of the ocean, which makes them infinitely more difficult to get to. Okay, well, we don't need carrot seeds. All right, give me something good. Give me a golden chest up top. Nothing. All right, let's see if the top has something better. Come on, golden chest. Oh, is that a golden chest? Oh, <gasps> it is a golden chest. Sick! What did it give me? Piston level 1. I mean, okay, it's better than nothing, but still, that's sweet that there's a golden chest here. So they do have a chance of spawning them, but I think every structure has a small chance. I was looking for a guaranteed one. And uh, can we... Can we... You think we can make that jump? Let's let's do it. Oh, uh, we're not gonna make it. Oh, we're not dead, though. Interesting that the ragdoll floats. Perfect. All right, we're just on the edge of the warehouse spawn limit. You can see it right there. And again, nothing of interest on those rocks. And there's more of them out there. That really sucks. It would have been so cool if there was like a ton of underwater loot by those rocks in particular. So you could actually like have a boat and have a purpose of looting with a boat. Like right now, we've gotten 12 fuel from all our looting. 
And I guarantee you, if we tried to make it from our base to here using a thruster-powered boat, it would take way more than 12 fuel. And unfortunately, I don't think there's any other way to power a boat other than with thrusters or with the glowworms. Like, I can't think of any way right now in the game to power a boat other than these two. It would be nice if the devs added a propeller or something that could actually, you know, power a boat through the water that, uh, you know, just uses rotation. And that way we could actually have electric engines or gas engines powering a rotating bearing, which then, you know, would in turn power the propeller. But either way... It's still pretty decent that this idea here works and, you know, it's relatively free. You just have to find a bunch of glowworms. Well, the sun's coming down, but seeing as how the ocean's pretty much empty except for these few rocks, I'm just going to keep sailing throughout the night and if we find anything interesting, I'll stop and wait until daylight to explore it. But I think we're honestly just going to be sailing through a fair amount of open ocean around the outside of the map. And yeah, that's just another warehouse, another thing there, random structure, yeah. All right, let's just go through it the night and see where we end up in the morning. Another one of those little warehouse island things, whatever the heck it's called. Not a warehouse, just a regular structure. We're not going to explore that because, I mean, I don't really need to grind for component kits on those. It's a lot easier to just drive around to some land structures. And that's pretty much it. Like, we might actually be stuck with only these three island types. Just the two sets of rocks and then the one little warehouse, which I think is unfortunate. Maybe there's underwater biomes that I've been missing, like underwater tiles that are cool. Um, but we're just gonna keep sailing and, you know, hopefully we find something else. This is actually really peaceful. It's kind of nice having a sailboat. It's quiet. Oh, there's another warehouse on our left. Okay. Another warehouse location. That's only a two-level warehouse. The one we were at had three. That only has two. I wonder if that means it actually has only two floors when you go in it. I would assume it does. Like, each one of those is a floor, and that would actually make a difference. That means that's probably an easier warehouse to raid because there's less floors to deal with. Although, I don't know if that's actually the case, but... That's kind of cool. I wish there were binoculars in this game so we could actually look at stuff without having to use the ADS on the spud gun. That would be really cool. Just a nice pair of binoculars zoomed in your whole screen so you could really see everything. Maybe with an adjustable zoom, although that might be too much. Either just, you know, regular binoculars. I'm, I'm okay with that, guys. Let's just have regular binoculars. And oh my goodness, that's a landing pad. What? I've never seen a landing pad in the survival world. The landing pad's like all over creative. There's so many tiles in creative that have those landing pads on them. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about when we come around this corner. There. There. You see that pillar? That pillar right there. That's a landing pad pillar. There's another one there too. Oh, we got- we have to go check those out. I've never seen them in the survival world. I didn't even know they existed. I know in creative they're like everywhere and they're just these flat platforms that I guess were for ships to take off from or whatever. That was the, you know, the lore behind it or whatever. But I never have seen one in a survival world. This is awesome. Oh, those are part of a structure set? This must be like that chemical tank city that people are talking about. There's like a an area that's just a ton of chemical tanks. And that looks like another island. <gasps> that is definitely a unique island that's not just the other two. Oh, we got to check that out too. For sure. Okay, okay, we got stuff to explore now. I'm so excited. All right, let's go check out this chemical city. And if we see anything big, we're just gonna run, but that's sick. So the landing pillar is actually part of that central tank, I think. It's actually just inside that central tank, but because of the way the render distance works, it renders first. Oh, what? This has a whole canal around it? This is so cool. Oh, man, this is... This is amazing. And it's connected to the road system. Or maybe it's on its own road. It's a dead end there. Maybe that's a dead end up there too. Oh, this is so cool. I've never been here. All right, well, little greenies. I'm not too worried about you guys. You're dead. This is epic. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, that must have been the pillar we saw. Was the one inside that. It's just cool. It's just like chemical tags. You're dead too. I love this moat, though. I really wish we could connect that moat to- Oh! Oh! Ah, big red. Big red. Big red. Big red. I'm not equipped to deal with this. I mean, I kind of am, but... No, I'm not. 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 Okay. He's not gonna chase us through here, right? We're good. He's gonna shoot stuff at us. Did he jump in? He did. Well, now you're just stupid. Now you're just dead. I'm just gonna kill you.
Got him. Oh, okay. Hello. Oh, hey, guys. What's up? Also, what is this? There's just random loot crates. This chemical city is great. I think if we had a faster boat, this might actually be a good spot to come and loot. Anything worthwhile here? That stuff. Carrots, component kits. Okay, it's not bad. This is sick. I wonder if the road system connects all the way out here. I definitely didn't get all the way out here on the roads when I was exploring with Cosmo, but I'd be very curious if they actually can make it. And then just a broken bridge here. Oh, this is this is so cool. And this canal system. Oh, man, this is a cool tile. And there's the landing pad. Let's go over to that landing pad. It's got some stuff on it. Looks like there's another warehouse over there. I mean, whatever. We don't really need that warehouse. And then this canal just continues. Oh, ooh, one of these crates. Man, this is a good spot to loot. There is a ton of stuff here that we can take. All right, well, I think that's actually it for the entire chemical city. The moat just seems to wrap all the way around. Come back to here. A lot more greenies. There was only the one red guy. And uh, I'm just realizing we didn't even get his loot because he had a warehouse key, right? There's no way we got that warehouse key. All right, let's pick up that guy's loot and then head back to our boat. Unfortunately, that moat doesn't seem to connect to the ocean anyway. It just sort of surrounds the city tile. But either way, we'll definitely have to come back here once we get a faster boat built up. And, you know, if we can scoot around the entire ocean relatively quickly, I feel like that's a lot faster to get here than to just drive across the map. Our current boat is really slow, so I feel like if we found the roads, we could probably get here quicker. You know what? This actually might be back on the mainland, to be honest. This island isn't... I don't think it's an island. I think it's just more mainland wrapping around. There's an island there with another one of those structures on it, that simple structure island. But I think this is just a connection to the mainland again. Oh, I was so excited for that to be another island, but I don't think it is. Oh, maybe, hold on. Maybe this is an island. It, maybe, is it another charred island? It looks like it's charred. It's got some wrecked trees on it, a couple of them. It's got like a big crater on it too. All right, we're gonna, you know what? Let's just pull up next to it and let's wait until morning and then we're gonna go check it out. The last island was a charred forest, but this one's got like these big rock formations, almost like they're a crater around something. Maybe it's just another one of those dwarf farmer areas where it's just like a burnt tile with like a crater and a bunch of farmers in it. But let's actually pull up here and we'll check it out when the daylight comes back up. All right, the sun's coming right back up. So we're not gonna waste any time and we're just gonna get going on this island. And actually, I realize I've kind of misspoke because there's four islands. I've been saying this entire time there's three, but there is the charred one outside of our base, as well as it seems there's this charred one. So that would make four different islands so far that we found. Charred ones, and then the regular ones. Although this one might be a different layout from the other charred one. I think this is just the same as that dwarf area we found before. Oh no, there's no dwarfs here. Weird, it seems like it should be... It's got these rocks that stick up, like a valley, but there's no... Okay, it's just a valley through a charred island. That's it? I think that's actually it. What about this rock formation over here? Is there dwarves in this one? This honestly looks the same as that charred zone we had before with the dwarves in it. So that's why I'm feeling... No, still nothing. Huh. Weird. This island tricked me. All right, well, I guess we get back in the boat and keep sailing. It seems like there's another island right there, which is just off the coast of, you know, this landmass here. So let's go check out that island as well. Again, four islands so far. I'm not sure if this one is different from the charred zone by our base, but they seem very similar. So I guess, you know, maybe maybe there's only four, five island types. Not really a whole lot still. It looks like it might honestly be the same. It looks like it's got like a charred surface almost. Maybe I'm wrong, but it, it does look very charred on the surface. So it might just be another one of these charred islands like this one. Which I mean is great. It's a good way to get a lot more charcoal. It means there's more charcoal on the map than I thought there was. But unfortunately, not really anything too exciting there. But we're going to check it out anyway. I mean, we're already pretty much like halfway around the map. Been sailing forever. So there's a fair amount of distance just to get back. I feel like at this point, it almost is probably the same distance to keep going around the map as it is to go back the way we came. But either way, we're just going to check out as many islands as we can. Yep, to be honest, this one, look, there's the two rock formations. It looks identical to that one with its rock formations and the charred zone. And I don't think it's going to be anything different, unfortunately. So we're just going to keep sailing straight on past it and see if we can find something different. Because I think that's just the same tile. So that's four different islands so far. And uh, that's it. 
All right, I think we're actually finally rounding the third corner of the map. So we've gone all the way along one side. We've gone all the way along another side. And now we're looping around this back side of the map. So our base should be in the direction of the sun with the entire map between us and our base right now, I think, is where we're at. But so far, no new islands to report. This is such a crazy long sailing trip, it's insane, but I definitely want to get a faster boat because if we can get a faster boat using the same method, we could just loot some of these places a lot quicker and we could, you know, use it as a viable way of doing things. Or maybe even a bigger boat, maybe a boat that could carry a car. That would be amazing, but I mean, I don't know how many glowworms we'd need to power that or if it would even be possible. Well, I've been sailing all night and I haven't found any new islands, but I did find something interesting. We have a level four, four story warehouse, which is insane. And then we've also got this, which I think must be Scrap City. I mean, look at these structures. I'm not going to go explore it now because I feel like that's something we got to find our way there by land. And maybe I'll bring Cosmo along and we can explore it together. But either way, I think this is a good spot to end off the episode. I'm looking for more islands. I haven't found any. It's become very apparent to me that I need a faster boat. This boat works great, but I need more glowworms. It's just not fast enough. And I've been sailing for a long time and still not found any islands. So at some point in time, I think I'm going to upgrade this to be a faster boat and actually sail around the entire map. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time.